hello guys and welcome back to my channel to all my old and new subscribers thank you for tuning in if you're new and just passing by for the first time please do not go away without clicking on the subscribe button down below and do click on the notification bell because it will notify you of any time i upload a new video so guys welcome to another episode of Josie Sunday. Like I said before, Josie Sundays have been a bit slow because you know we are all on lockdown, even though it has been eased anyway, and there's no much gossip anyway, no gist, no news, but still we still try to dig out news. So today I'm going to be doing a reaction. I will be reacting to one of the popular interracial couples here on YouTube, their breakup. Yeah, they, they are about to get a divorce. They are kind of popular here, uh, especially the wife, she is a Mary and Shumite. Some of you might know her, not everybody knows this lady. Well, as for me, I actually found out about this couple, I think 2014, 2015, there about, and had I come across this couple, I think it was from Instagram before I joined them on YouTube, though I haven't been following their life so much of recent because I wasn't really watching their videos anymore and all that, but like I was saying, Miriam, the wife, she's a Nigerian who gained a scholarship to study I play basketball in the United States of America. She's a founder of a non-profit organization that cares for the homeless. Uh, I think, what's the name? Hold on, please. She's the founder of Dream Big Corporation. Yeah, they cater for the homeless. So guys, um, back to the main topic. So like I said, the first time I learned about this couple was in 2015 when, yeah, they lost a child. She just had a baby get then. And I was following the story of then, but not so much, but I think the child died within one or two weeks, barely one or two weeks, so I can't really remember, but that was when I knew about them, the first time ever, Miriam and Hunter. So aside that, I haven't really been following up on their life that much. All I know is that they now have two children aside the one they lost, yeah, a boy and a girl, I guess. And I just thought, okay, you know, interracial couple, YouTube couple, their life seemed perfect, you know. They were go to a lot of, you know, people, people like them and all that. So everybody thought their life was perfect and all that. Where most interracial couples, or most couples, especially if you're popular on social media, people always try to look up to you, thinking your life is perfect and all that, not knowing what goes on behind closed doors just like Nikki and uh, Jamie what happened with them it is happening with Miriam and Hunter now and it is really sad because anytime I hear or see stories like this I really feel bad like oh my god what is marriage what is love so love is not enough in marriage or what because I'm kind of scared if I wasn't married I'll be scared to get married yeah yeah I'm not saying my relationship or my marriage is perfect no far from it but still it saddens my heart. I feel bad whenever I see couples that people look up to or that seems happy and all that coming up with a breakup and all that. It's just not fair. As I was saying, this couple, they seem like a very lovey, dovey couple. As in, people admire them a lot. Even though from the girl's video, from Marianne's video, she said, hi, a lot of people were always insulting her, calling her slave, that she was slaving for Hunter, that she was doing everything blah 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 but at the same time we don't really know what went wrong because we are not there we only heard from their mouth and at the moment i for one have only heard from marion's mouth i haven't heard from hunter and at the same time i would have really loved to put out the video she did so you guys could hear from my mouth but i can just take her full videos maybe i'll put a short clip for you guys to hear from her mouth some of the stuff she said she experienced and all that but this is really bad the kids are so small what are they going to do about parenting and all that it's going to be like a war because from her videos what she said her hunter doesn't support her hunter is always talking down on her calling her trash uh, useless uh, she can't get a job she can't do anything that uh, she is the problem they've been having that he doesn't love her anymore his love for her died so many ugly stuff which really would put someone down if really that's what happened but they should consider their kids and find a way through all this that hunter wants her to sign an agreement for the divorce and she insisted that no they have to go to the court because they got married in the court and all that many things that many times hunter always tell her that she will leave him when she makes a lot of money and all that and she doesn't intend doing that that she loves her family she has been taking care of family that she has been spending her money that she there was a time hunter didn't have a job and all 
yes that video contained a lot so guys i really advise you guys if you want to hear the full gist of those videos to visit may we show my channel you will see the videos there she talked about everything now we're going to be waiting for hunter's turn i haven't heard from hunter so let's not just conclude and judge just like that so yeah, like i said i'm going to, going to put a short clip i will have to a short clip for you guys to see and uh, see what this lady is talking about well guys i wish them were in whatever they decide to do so guys like i said i'm going to be reacting to some videos that um Miriam put out there. Yeah, she said she was saying her side of the story. In this whole situation, I am not going to take side with anybody because like they say, you have to hear from both sides before coming to a conclusion. But I am just going to react to Miriam's parts because some of the stuff she said in her video, I really feel bad that, okay, she could be treated this way. And if these people, they were so in love, like many of us thought, how did it get to this what happened along the way and all that she's paid a lot of stuff i haven't heard from hunter the husband so i don't know who to believe but i don't think she would just be lying in total so guys let's listen to some of the things she has to say i have to get clips 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 of her videos because i wanted you guys to hear it yourself marriage is difficult jeez so guys, let's react to some of the videos she put out there. When I would tell me, don't do this, like, even with my non-profit, he wouldn't want to support me because he felt like I was, um, he felt like all I was doing was I was wasting money. Just a non-supportive was my the worst. Um, last year, you know, like I said, a lot of opportunities came to me to make money. And every time it seemed that it was going to work out, he would come to me and tell me, now you're going to have all this money and then you're going to walk away from me and leave me. You're going to leave me. You're going to think that I'm trash. And then you're going to walk away from me. I was like, why do you say these things? Have I ever called you trash? Have I ever forced you to go and get me money or do anything for me and tell you if you don't do it, then I'm going to leave? I've never. All I've ever done was love you. All I've ever done was support you. And after that, and then um, when the opportunity fails, he would come to I me and tell me that I'm that. coming a loser. Tell me I need to go get a job. That I doesn't know what I'm doing. That he just, he's feeling like leaving me and walking away from me because I, I'm nothing. I don't have any goals. We haven't achieved any goals together. That he doesn't even know if he wants to be with me. Anymore. He's, trying to, he's, still, he's trying to figure out if he still loves me because since we had that fight in 2018, it feels like his love just went away. He just went cold and he's trying to get it. He's trying to get it back, but he just doesn't, doesn't know. He can't really, he doesn't know how he feels. That's like, after we had just run, it was, and then he rested. Then we're running and then suddenly I saw a difference in the way he reacted towards me. I was like, what? Is everything okay? It's like, yeah, it's fine. So he doesn't want to run anymore. And then I ran, you know, I did my sprinting. And then that, then he told me, we're going to need to talk. I need to talk, talk to you after, after this. I was like, okay, is everything okay? No, it's really bad. I was like, okay. We sat down. He told me, this is what he told me in uh, March 17, 2020. When I sat me down and told me, Mariam, I want to divorce. I want to divorce you. And it's because I don't feel love for you anymore. And all my, all the problems I've been through is because of you. You've been the issue in my life. We've not accomplished anything. And I just want to pursue a new, better career. I'll go ahead without you. I don't want you. I want you to get your stuff, get ready, plan and leave. And I'm going to take the kids and I'm going to write, um, um, write out um, uh, an agreement and um, you're going to sign the agreement and then it's gonna be over between us i was like what happened we were just running together we were just having sex last night you prepared the porch for me what happened so guys we have come to the end of this video i do really hope this couple find a solution to their problems especially because of their little kids and resolve everything amicably and take it off social media so guys this is the end of this video. I am sure we learned one or two things from this. Thanks for staying with me on this one and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.